What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this a model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So what we have here in our Model T series is actually a box that I traded for with uh, one of my customers for another model car because he has a whole bunch of the Model T kits but he wants to only build the street rods so he gave me all the stock Model T's which is going to help on my um, display for the Museum of the Highwood. Actually it's going to be quite an interesting display because I'll have all these Model T's and then I got the Laurel and Hardy Model T and the police car Model T as well. And speaking of parts, these here are parts and components to build, well, two Model T's. Um, <clears throat> these were from one of my customers that passed away like years ago. Um, that's sort of funny. The, well, not funny that he passed away, because, but, okay, so the story is like this. Um, these models uh, were bought by, I'll just say customer A, <laughs> to be used for his model train set. He has a G-gauge, which is like 122nd scale, 125th, somewhere in there. So he had this 1927 Model T Touring, as well as the Model T panel van, which thankfully is being re-released by AMT. There's a Coca-Cola version coming out, and there's the version before that. So, um, now these were all together when I had them originally, but <laughs> because they were on a G-gauge train set, the original owner glued the hoods down and everything. He glued the windshield frame on wrong. If you uh, look on Facebook, you'll be able to see my restoration pictures because I'm working on getting this fixed or presentable anyway. That's interesting. He painted the back seat yellow. I don't know if that's actually a thing or not. <laughs> so now I've got to research that. It's kind of hard to find. Um, when I got the kit, all the spoke wheels were busted, so I've been trying to get some more, and I found two in another box with Model A parts. Uh, and I, So I've got three, actually, because i got the, the Model T spare tire as well. The back just fell out in there. Um, so anyway, the one customer passed away. And then all this stuff went to the auction house. And another customer of mine got it and said, how'd you like these? And gave them to me. So I've been trying to rebuild this. There's a few flaws that happened. Like he glued the hot rod dashboard on here instead of the stock one, um, which I'm not going to try to get out. I don't have the stock one anyway, so this will be a little bit fudged. What I'm thinking of doing... Now, this is an old kit because... It's got the class of 29 decal on there. Of course you can't see because my camera won't focus. There. Oh, come on. Anyway, it says, okay, there we go. Class of 27. I looked this up on the internet and this kit is from a long time ago. It's from an issue prior to the 80s. It's more like a 70s edition. So unfortunately, though, i got to lose that decal. <laughs> uh, which is a bit sad, because I do like that kind of history of these things, too. But anyway. Yeah, so these are all glued solid. Um, this windshield frame was busted in three spots. And I wasn't thinking when I glued this back together. I used the original glass, which he went with the glue all over. And then I realized I could have actually cut two rectangular pieces of plastic, clear plastic, and glued them in. I don't know, maybe I can 
kind of don't want to try to get it out because I'll just re-break it. But at any rate, yeah, he had the windshield out here when it's supposed to be back, almost touching the cowl. So, I mean, there's things like that that I got to correct. And of course the panel van, I tried taking apart and you can see how raw the glue was, but he never painted this thing. That's why I took it apart. Luckily I got the glass out without breaking much. But yeah, I, I'm really debating whether to restore this old red one or just say the heck with it because they're re-releasing it. I get two fresh kits. Actually, I've ordered two fresh kits. There's another problem here too. This frame looks good, right? Except, I do believe that this front axle is shifted over this way. So, again, it's one of those things like, what do you do? I don't know if the rear spring is straight or not. It's kind of, oops, kind of hard to tell. I guess I'll find out when I glue back together and put it on the bench. But at any rate, these are the pieces for this. I also have some parts from a Model T that I built when I was a kid, which I'm going to restore as well. So I got a lot of Model Ts on the go. Oh yeah, and this wheel's cracked on the rim there, <laughs> which I won't use it, but whatever. So we get back into this. So my friend, we traded, and I got all these extra bits so I could rebuild something in the box there. But I basically have two and a half cars here, which is good because this one here was the one I built as a kid, which I'm going to restore. I've been stripping the paint off it and everything, getting it all ready to go. Uh, the green paint. I don't know. I was just experimenting around. It's probably one of the original Model T colors, but they didn't have color in 23. Everything was black. It wasn't until 26, 27 that they painted it. So what I'll do is I'll take these parts out and we'll take a look at what I got in a trade. Okay, so this is what I got with the trade-in, as well as the kit from when I was a kid. Now, the radiators don't slope down like that. It's just... can't really get them to stay straight up and down without gluing them on. So we got the regular your regular Model T with the turtle deck in the back. Then you have your tall T, the... Uh, five window sedan then there's a pickup truck you can also build by swapping out the turtle deck for the truck back now the truck back actually is from the three-in-one kit uh, he didn't have the truck bed for some reason but what they give you is in each kit they give you this and then a choice of this or the turtle deck so if you have enough of these model T's from 25 you have enough of the pickup deck to kill a man. <laughs> so, or the turtle deck. I got like six of them. And you're only going to use one per car. So that's what I got there. One turtle deck on my original. You can see it was molded in gray. And then one of the pickups molded in white. And now uh, this is all I basically have. Of course, I could add a turtle deck there too. But this is the car and a half. Because there's not enough to really fully build a full-up Model T. And now this is that seat from the fire engine from the 27 Ford kit. Now look, you can do this. Put that there. And then take this and cut it off right where the door is so you got that cowl. And then you just glue the cowl part to the front and that's your fire truck type of thing and then of course you build stuff for in the back now I'm gonna take a, a side view shot of this but before I do this is a t glass that came with the tall T kit molded in clear and then this purple here so you could paint your tall T and then put that glass up in it pretty cool Although, oh, and they even give you the two front windows in the purple, too. 
pretty cool. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'll see what happens with the Three Stooges car. Maybe I'll actually take another one of those and put the purple glass in. So let's take a look at these on a side view. So this is what I have for Model T's so far. So here's my original 25 Model T. I'll just turn it so you can see the turtle back there. Now none of this is glued together, so it can all come apart except for the old firewall. That's glued right to the body. Which is kind of nice because it allows me to line it up. So next, there's the tall T. You can see it also has a bit of a luggage deck in the back here. This will be fun to build up. I never had the tall T body before, so it was nice that I managed to trade one, or trade for one. There's your firewall. Then we have the pickup truck. Pickup truck version. Extra long in the back. Again, not glued down. And now I'll show you the 27 restoration model. And there we go. I don't want to touch it because everything will fall apart on it. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the nice top. What I'm thinking of doing is using those... I got the police edition and I'm thinking of using the side curtains on this one. Because there's not much of the interior that's in good shape. Just because this was a trade-in. Or a, a rebuild. And the original builder glued everything solid on it. Yeah, so if I put the side curtains in, that'll cover up a lot of the sins of the kit. Okay, very quickly moving. Yep, that's what I thought would happen. I got a Model A wheel on the back until I can get another nicely shaped Model T wheel. Ah. Joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And here is the final. Um, now this will have to be try to rebuild this, but this is a panel van. And it's just sitting together because I broke it all to pieces. So I could paint the inside and redo the fenders. Which should, should be sitting up nice, but... Ah, what can you do? <laughs> so yeah, so now he's got an ESO sticker on the side. But yeah, that's basically all the Model T's. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And then I got <coughs> police car six, Laurel and Hardy is seven. And then the one in here, eight. There's partial bit of one, eight and a half maybe. Maybe that one doesn't count. But anyway, so there's eight Model T's. Then I ordered two more of these, so 910. And I got another Three Stooges car because this trade happened after. 910, so 11. Then there's the Fruit Wagon for 12. And I think that's all I got. <laughs> so the 12 Model T's for some purpose, display or whatever just to build for fun. Then I got another one upstairs because I built one in Expo 86. So that's 12. But the Expo 86 one won't be shown in the display for obvious reasons. And there we go. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.